Hi, my name's Eli, and I'm going to be talking you through a tutorial of how to set up your Pilot 24 light battery with the ResMed S10. So, okay, so I just want to illustrate a couple of things on your battery here. So you've got a few different ports. So you've got a charging port, you've got a USB output port, so you can charge your phone off of that if you need to, or anything with a USB, and then you've got your DC output port as well. You've also got a little button here uh, just next to the charging port, which you push once and it'll illustrate or highlight how much charge you've got left on the battery. The other cool feature of this battery is you push and hold it and a little LED light will turn on. So you can use this as a torch in the middle of the night if you need to. Now, in order to run this battery as your primary power source for your S10, you're gonna need to grab the DC output cable, uh, which is labeled already and it's inside the box. You need to grab the DC output end into the DC port and then grab this in here and pop it into the back of your machine. And then what it should do, it'll turn your device on and you should be able to write. Now, if you want to use the battery as a backup source, just in case your mains power goes down, all you have to do is grab your Essence 10 PSU cord, plug that one into the wall and then plug this one into the back of the battery where the charging port is. And this just will act as a uh, backup circuit. So it's not gonna actually use the battery power, but it's gonna bypass it straight into the cord, power your device. And anytime the power goes out in your house, uh, it'll kick in straight away with the battery power. There's one little glitch with running the uh, Medistrong power battery is that it doesn't have enough power to run the humidifier as well as the machine the entire night. So what you'll need to do if you are going to use just the battery is you're going to have to turn off your humidifier in order for the battery to last the entire night. Now, if you don't know how to do that, you just go into my options, scroll down to your humidity level, and then wind it back until it says off. And then you should be able to get a full night's worth of charge on your battery. Thank you.